Hello to all of you, welcome to a fixed focus program. Last week we tested a simple turbine. And I used this vacuum cleaner propeller. And if you see that it has a little swing, this is because the holes on both sides of the retaining screws are not centered. In these two pictures, you can see the vacuum cleaner impeller, which has different types and dimensions in the market. A lot of energy is wasted in this type of rotation and today we want to make it better. Now I open it. And we have nothing to do with its base and leave it aside. Now we want to do something that the steam only exits from inside the turbine chamber and in this case, less energy will be wasted. In the figure, you can see the path of steam movement into the turbine. Now for this I welded a circular plate here and I welded a metal L belt here and I also welded two bearing locations on both sides. Now I'm going to put this vacuum cleaner turbine in here. And put a metal housing on it. In order not to make our video long, I increase the video speed during assembly. Well now look this is a small pot made of aluminum or zinc metal and I have cut the required part and separated it. Now you can see that the turbine fits exactly in the top opening of the metal pot. Now, first, I place the hole in the center of the turbine on the hole of the circular plate and put a fireproof rubber around it that I prepared before. Then I put this separated part of the pot on it and close it with a screw and the chamber can be adjusted by tightening the screw. Also, we use a long threaded screw that is placed on both sides of the bearing. The basis of its construction is as easy as this. Now I will place the camera so that the assembly method can be seen easily.
The work of closing the turbine housing is finished and we can tighten the screws in such a way that the housing is very close to the turbine and the steam escapes from the sides of the turbine less. In order to increase the power of the turbine, instead of one nozzle, I use three nozzles and I have created three diagonal holes around the chamber with approximately 120 degree angles. In this picture, you can see the direction of the holes in which I have put a wooden toothpick so that their direction is clear for you. I have used copper capillary tubes for the nozzle, the function of this tube in refrigeration devices is to reduce the pressure of the refrigerant gas. Now I have welded the copper capillary tubes on a semicircular copper tube at the desired points as you can see in the figure. Now I carefully pass the copper capillary tubes through the holes in such a way that it does not touch the turbine and fix the main tube. You saw how easy the assembly work was done. And you can see how easily it rotates. Of course, the size of the outlet hole of the nozzles is extremely important, and the larger the nozzle hole, the greater the rotation power, but our tank will soon be depressurized. Adjusting the screws is also extremely important in the rotation power, so we need to adjust them carefully. Well, now we need to test it to make sure it works, so let's go to test the steam turbine. Now I have prepared the steam tank and you can see that it is in the focus of the light of the solar dish. Now the pressure of the tank is almost 6 bar, which can be higher, but because the body of the tank is thin, there is a possibility of it bursting. Now I will connect the turbine system to the steam outlet valve and before doing this I will wrap Teflon around the pipe. Now I open the steam valve. At first, some water comes out of the nozzles, and then it is time for super hot steam to come out, which increases the rotation of the turbine. The spinning power is great and now it can easily spin a small generator. Unfortunately, the turbine is quite loud and this is due to the continuous blows that the steam gives to the blades of the turbine. Perhaps a soundproof enclosure could be created around it. The tank pressure has decreased to 5 bar. Of course, the bigger the solar dish is, the tank pressure will be much higher and the turbine power will be much higher.
The rotation speed of the turbine is very high and it also has acceptable power. Unfortunately, I was not paying attention and I wanted to lift the steam turbine, and my hand hit the copper pipe, the temperature of which is above 200 degrees Celsius, and my finger was burned. A great way to heal a burn is to quickly dab it with edible oil, and I need to do it fast. I hope you are satisfied with this video and goodbye until the next program. Most videos on Fixed Focus channel have their own innovation and you won't regret watching them, thank you for subscribing and liking.